Hi, R.D. Barry here. Welcome to Chapter 8, Part B of my Let's Play of Stray. And last time we kind of kind of got stuck. Um, I died um, right after um, pulling this switch, and when you do a retry, it it puts all the um, Zerk eggs back where they were before, which is kind of um, awkward, I guess. Because I spent a lot of time trying to get those things cleared out in the first place. Um, <clears throat> and uh, one thing I didn't realize, though, is that they only... Uh, the Zerks only come out when you get too close to the egg. So my mistake was just trying to run through them to safety. But if you kind of sneak your way around them, and let's see if I can do this. Uh, oops, get the light out. You kind of sneak your way around them and not disturb them too much. Um, you can get back to where you were without much of a problem. So, um... And also, I, I'm i kind of doing it the hard way because I'm, I'm kind of uh, clearing out the eggs instead of just doing that, you know, kind of sneaking by. But um, I just feel better doing that because if I need to retreat suddenly, then, um, which is too unlikely to tell you the truth... Uh, I'd rather have the area behind me be clear and, uh, ew, uh, the slime on the left is doing revolting things. Um, I'd rather have the area clear, cleared behind me to, uh, retreat to, uh, safely than, uh, have to worry about it. So, uh, I'm gonna clear this out again off screen and then uh, continue on um, hopefully I'll be getting better at this um, each time and it won't take as long also um, I was practicing uh, chapter 2 uh, last night and um, one thing I discovered is that I've been doing the uh, shake maneuver all wrong. Um, if, you, if a zerk lands on you, you need to press B to uh, shake it off. Uh, that's not going to get do you much good if you get three or four on you, but um, it will uh, shake uh, one off. But um, I had been the, this whole time pressing B repeatedly, thinking you needed to that each B, each time you pressed it is what counted. Uh, but that's not the case. You just press and hold B, and it, it works much, much better. So I was complaining about how hard the Zerks are to deal with, and um, I was uh, not doing it right at all. Um. Normally be just meow, so I can't really demonstrate it here, but I assume we'll be seeing that um, uh, in the upcoming uh, footage. So yeah, and I remember specifically, I, I, you, there's the that one section where you're running from all the zerks, and I was trying to practice that over and over again, and um, I did one successful run, and I was thinking, should I go on or? practice it again and um and i thought well I'll, I'll see if i can do two in a row and um because it gives you the, the the chance you can return to the previous checkpoint at the end of that run and um and get to uh and and try it again just keep practicing it over and over until you until you get better at it but and uh that's on that second was on that second um, uh, set of attempts that I discovered that. So if I hadn't uh, gone back and uh, kept practicing, I wouldn't have uh, discovered that. Um, anyway, so I will be back when we get 
more or less to the point where uh, I died, um, where I get more, more or less to the point where I um, reached previously. All right, well, I cleared the um, uh, room again. It only took, I think, two tries. I'm getting so I'm getting a little bit better at it each time. Um, uh, another thing I realized um, at this point in the game, if the Zerk lands on you, then um, you can just point your um, uh, the whatever. Um, demagnetizer or whatever it is uh, down and uh, zap yourself with it. So um, that's assuming that it's you've got a charge left. If not, then you're you're just gonna have to shake it off like um, like normal. Um. So yeah, I you don't I I guess. You don't have to do that. It's it's um. If this was like any kind of a speed run, I wouldn't do it. Uh, but I don't really do speed runs, and uh, it's just it's just sort of a uh. The the zerks just make this kind of satisfying splat slash pop noise when they <laughs> explode. So, um. That's, uh, it's probably boring to watch, so I'm not going to include it in the video, but, um, it's, uh, it's fun to do. Uh, anyway, let's go, I'll go ahead and, um, if this is a fail, I won't include it, but I'll just keep going until I get a, a I get to the, um, until I get to the point where I died previously. Okay, that wasn't so hard. I, I, um, it's this next part that's the problem. So, um, getting the Zerks as they come over the bridge is, doesn't seem to be too hard, even though there's a lot of them. It's, it's the fact that, uh, when they come through this, this way, they're kind of all spread apart. So I think the idea is you need to kind of lead them into a bottleneck here and get them uh, while they're kind of bunched together. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll uh, try to continue here. So I blew the um, blew a fuse there, but it wasn't a catastrophe. I'm hoping, hoping there's no such thing as like an infinite supply that once they're gone, they're gone. I mean, there are games where 
uh, enemies just keep spawning and you just have to keep fighting them. But, um... And if you just sort of... If you just... If you just keep uh, fighting them and t hoping that they'll eventually run out, then you'll be playing... You'll be fighting them forever, and that's... Um, Probably not uh, what you're intended to do. Uh, so let me just go ahead and clear these eggs out. I'll let her try at least. You know, I'm thinking what I should really do is watch another Let's Play now that I've uh, kind of mastered the basics of uh, battle here and see that I'm uh, try to get a um, see if I'm actually doing this right or doing this the best way. Um, uh, It's always a good idea to to improve your gameplay to um, watch other people play, see what they're doing wrong, see what they're doing right. Uh, you never know, you might actually uh, be able to uh, learn something. Whoa. Uh-oh. Pretty sure this platform is not safe to stand on when the Zerks attack. That's why I'm not uh, trying to use it. I, you need something uh, fairly high, otherwise they just jump up. They just follow you. Oh, there's a passage there. That's interesting. Um, is there a way through there? Um, hmm. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, I guess it's a dead end. Oh, maybe that's where the Zerks come out of. Yeah. Uh, right, I see what's going on. So every attack is when what you when you uh, re get close enough to one of these little pockets here, and they come out. So, um, right. Wondering how long this section continues for. I'm hoping it's that we're coming toward the end here. Goodness. Uh, right.
eyes are creeping me out. I don't know about anybody else. Okay, I'm beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel there. Uh, maybe I'll just skip over those. Are those more eggs or are those barrels? Those are barrels. Okay, that's relief. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, I think it's just that one little group left there, and um, um, and then we'll be through this section, and hopefully it won't get worse. Um, so I might be cutting out some of this stuff because it is getting pretty pre uh, repetitive, at least from uh, a viewer's point of view. So. Um, yeah, the sections where I'm not actually talking, um, I'll probably, I might uh, at least trim somewhat. I mean, it's uh, probably repetitive from a viewer's point of view, but uh, from a... Uh, Player's point of view, your palms are sweating and you're worried that it, you're going to make a crucial mistake and somehow activate all 12 of those eggs at once and be overwhelmed. So, um, yeah. It's, uh... It's kind of nerve-wracking when you're actually playing. You know, at the very beginning of the um, Let's Play, I was thinking, what are we going to call this cat? And I've just figured it out. It's, it's got to be Aloy because um, there are just a lot of similarities between this game and uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I mean, um, the ginger hair, hair is for uh, alone is enough of a reason, I think. I mean, they're both set in uh, post post apocalyptic worlds, and uh, uh, she's kind of uh, an outcast from her group. I'm not; she wasn't actually deliberately outcast, but she kind of uh, uh, was forced out. So, yeah, there's a lot of parallels. Alright. Um, okay. Oh boy. Okay, um, time for another try. Uh, I thought we were done, but apparently there's a whole another section over here. And um, as soon as you climb up this ramp, uh, there's a whole horde of uh, Zerks that attack. And um, I really mishandled that. I think um, the problem is I tried to retreat too far and um, that, um, well maybe there is no such thing as retreating too far, but uh, for whatever reason I didn't um, do it right. So um, let's try it again and I think I'll try to get them as they come around this corner and um, 
I'll only uh, retreat. So I'll back up, back to, uh, back up to around here. And then, um, if they keep coming too hard, I'll, I'll retreat again back to, um, these, these, these actual platforms are actually kind of useful as, uh, barriers, uh, force the zerks to come around corners and whatnot, which is, um, what you want. Um, of course, I'm not really putting that into, uh, practice very well. Uh, one thing that I should mention here, you know, every, I, you know, I'm kind of, I was saying how difficult this is, but, you know, every time you, you say something like that, someone's going to turn up and say, oh yeah, I, I was, this was so easy for me, I don't know what your problem is. It's like, yeah, well, okay, well, make your own Let's Play then. Uh, it's hard for me, alright? <laughs> what you were supposed to do. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see a door though. Oh my goodness. All right. Perhaps this nightmare is finally over. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I can probably just sneak by these eggs, but again, I'm just going to... Um, uh, zap them if I can and um, I'll probably cut that out cut it out or edit that out of the um, let's play I think we've seen enough of this by now um, what kind of um, improvement I found was to just sort of do it or to, use the corners here so um, just to get one help you get one egg at a time so they don't all uh, pop out or pop out at once um, of course you have to well watch me uh, try to demonstrate this and completely blow it and die but we'll we'll see here um, so I, you can isolate one egg at a time, sometimes that way, and uh, not be overwhelmed. Yeah, like that. Uh, by the way, this is uh, actually uh, classic hit and run tactics. Um, you see this in a lot of video games where you're. Um, where you're faced with, where you're outnumbered or outgunned or whatever, so um, you strike and then um, retreat, strike again, retreat, strike again, retreat, and uh, use use the uh, fact that your enemy is not either not. Uh, as fast or not much faster than you are. Um, if these Zerks ran much faster than a cat, then we'd be in big trouble, even with the um, uh, deionizer or whatever, it is, whatever it's called. Okay, I think that uh, clears everything, uh, up to the door at least. Really hope we get a checkpoint. It's some um, 24 minutes since the last checkpoint, which seems uh, well. Yeah, I'm, I'm 
doing this very slowly so um, and carefully so maybe that's to be expected um, but um, still <laughs> 24 is like a new record I think all right let's see what we have in here okay well we've got a pipe and the pipes seem to be pretty easy. Oh, here we go a checkpoint um, pipes seem to be pretty ch uh, Zerk free here. Uh, okay, oh. There's a. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that there's a memory at the end of this trail. Uh Yeah. Come on. This substance grows in all places where there are zerks, right. It seems to pulse as though alive. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, frame chilling, yeah. <laughs> Not bone chilling, frame chilling. Okay. Uh, so I think that's all the, um, memories in this chapter, yeah. Uh, for once, I mean, they're, at least they're easy to find. Uh, they're, you just find the trail that, the most unlikely trail and, and follow it, and then you're at the end. And there's the memory, uh. It's not like you're searching through people's houses and whatnot, looking behind curtains and doors and and uh, etc. Okay. Oh boy. Yep, more of these guys. These look even bigger than the last ones. into the pipe unless you unless they see you there otherwise they just sort of uh otherwise they just sort of mill around and do nothing and I guess they don't like that water either hmm So oh, yeah, practice enough and it gets easier and quicker each time, I guess. Uh, oh, I have a feeling I'm not very proficient at this, but... Um, I can only improve. A lot of room for improvement, I guess. And we got a checkpoint, so that's that's one thing. Yeah. Uh, I was happy about that. What are these? 
Oh, these are eyes that, but they're closed. Hmm. Yeah, I'm starting to get overconfident again, so um, it's giving more more trouble than I uh, it should be. Uh, slow and careful. This music is just one note being held forever. Or one chord, maybe. Uh, it's rather disconcerting. As if the Zerks weren't bad enough. Okay, well, I think I've gotten every Zerk egg, so I'm free to explore. Um. The, uh, it's, if I knew where I was going ahead of time, I could just clear the path, but, uh, since I don't, and I need to, like, cover everything here, um, or I might need to cover everything, it's, I think it was probably better to clear the eggs. You know, I'm, I guess I could keep on trying to justify that, but, uh, it's just fun, so why not? Right. So I think the goal is those doors up there. Um, and we can, uh, okay, so that one I guess you get to using those barrels. And um, I think the other one Remember seeing some pipes or something leading there? I'll do that one first. Yeah, there's a pipe there. Whoops. I didn't even have to jump. Oops, come on. You can do it. There you go. Oh, there's a, a barrel there, too. Okay, so there's actually two routes to this place. Oh, I got a checkpoint. Um, open door lock. Okay. No horde of zerks coming through. Let's try this one. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, at least I got a um, checkpoint right away. Open do Oh, all the eggs are back. Yeah, that's just great. Okay, whatever. So I think we're safe. We're the my problem. My mistake was to uh 
jump off this platform or not uh yeah that opened all the eyes so um hmm. so maybe if I jump here and then jump back right pattern is whenever you hear like uh whoops come on there we go I'm pressing the wrong button there we go so I panicked that last time that was my fault um wasn't really that difficult uh can I jump over those barrels no just I can just get to one or the other but I can't cross all right so I'll come back when I've cleared the path there at least all right well I cleared the eggs again and um, dealt with the random attacks so, um, time to open the other door, I guess. Yeah, the green light is on that one. Let's open this. And, uh, hope there's not gonna be, like, like another huge Zerk attack. Want to do this one, too? Um. One thing was a little bit confusing, I guess, the first on the first one was that when you unlock the door, it puts speed 12 away. So I was trying to figure out how to attack without B12. So you have to, I guess, as soon as um, as soon as you unlock the door, uh, uh, oh, it get B12 out. You can just use the uh, left um, D-pad, by the way. Um, let's go ahead and do that. All right. Okay. All right, partially open door. I'm expecting to see a Zerk attack any second here. See what my right no no checkpoint so far. Oh oh my goodness, that's uh rather startling. Okay, checkpoint. That's uh, reassuring. Either that or it's... It means that we're gonna get a, a huge attack. Eww. I've never seen B12 look so scared. Wow. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, run. All 
Uh, I hope this is the right way. Um, maybe not. Alright. Let's try that again. Hopefully not uh, running down a dead end again. Uh, as usual, I will cut out the intermediate attempts and uh, just concentrate on uh, trying to just do the first and last attempt here. I guess we follow the flashing lights, right? Okay, only two tries. And we got a checkpoint. Oops. Right. Right. Defluxer, I keep on forgetting that, it is completely destroyed now. Oh boy. Well, that was nice while it lasted. Um, hmm. Well, I, let's see, um, I think I will leave it there. I, I have a feeling we're close to the end of the chapter, but I feel like this is a good stopping point. So um, I will call it an episode there. I assume we're going to have to go through one of these fan type things uh, to progress. Um, and uh, hopefully... Um, since the defluxer is gone, oh, we'll just have to run all the time from the uh, Zerks. So, um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you'll join me for the next um, part of the adventure. Till then, bye.